my name is Jess and if you haven't noticed already, I love, love Dell monitors. Yes, I work for Dell, but I do want to share an application with you called the Dell Display Manager that I've been using now for about a year and I think you should too. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. And you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are here because you wanna get straight to it. What is the Dell Display Manager? How can I use it? Why haven't you been using it yet? In this video, I'm gonna go through a walkthrough of how to download it, does it work with your monitors, how I use it, how I set it up, and it's just gonna be really a very simple walkthrough. If you do have comments on it, feel free to comment below. And if I don't know the answer, I'll reach out to someone at Dell cause I do work there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so hopefully right now that you can see my screen, it might be a little bit small, but bear with me. I just opened Dell.com and I'm going to put the link down in my YouTube video, but really what is the Dell Display Manager? I did tell you a little bit before, it is really to arrange your computer screen, your applications, especially if you have a screen that's 22 inches, 27 inches large, it is really hard to organize your screen. And if you're gonna be doing the same things every single day in your job, this is a lifesaver tool. So here's the table of contents here, how to download the Dell display, connect your monitor features, but I will walk that through right now. So you're gonna go to the Dell display manager page. Here it is. And then you're gonna click download. The recent release date when I was filming this was January 17th. I am filming this at the end of March. Here we go. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go, so it's open here. You're gonna click that. And one thing that you can't see is it is asking me user control access as this is my Dell computer. So it's just gonna take a second here to download. Because I am sharing my screen, there's sometimes a little bit of a glitch. So it's, it's downloading just one minute here. There we go. So welcome to Dell Display Manager. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see, I can't make it larger. Click next. Definitely read through the end user license agreement of all the terms and conditions. Because I've been using this already, of course I have read through these. And there we go, it is installing. So finish, you want to launch the Dell Display Manager right away. Give it a second here. It is processing. All right, here is the application. Again, uh, they're going to ask if you do consent having the data collection and sent over to Dell, yes or no. Of course, I'm a Dell employee, so I'm going to say yes. And here we go. So it's going to show me the brightness and contrast. I'm not gonna play around with this. Uh, you can click reset, but uh, if depending on how bright or dark you like your system. You can play around with it here and then you can click reset to set it back. Same as contrast, I really wouldn't play around with that. Then there is a drop down, which is very interesting here. So this is my current monitor that I'm using. And then there's the 32 inch. So we'll also show the settings there. I'm gonna stick to my 30. So there's a lot of interesting data here, right? It is going to show you your inputs. I love this. I don't, uh, if you do have a Dell monitor and you haven't been using this, you need to. 
It's gonna show you your PIP and PBP, your hotkeys. Currently, I don't have any in place. I'm going to leave that as is because I really want to show you the easy arrange. Uh, that is my absolute favorite. You can also do auto for coloring, but let's go to easy arrange. Now here is where the meat of it is. You can play around with any type of configuration here. So if you want two windows, three windows, four windows, five, six, seven, or more, the options are literally, literally endless. Um, I'm not sure if Samsung or other monitor brands have something similar. They probably do. So I can't really compare and speak on that. But I absolutely love this. If you have a monitor, even 30, 30 inch, 22 inch, I know a lot of people have a 22 inch, you can have it cut. So let's do that. And you can see, let me show you again. You can see the little yellow line. So if you want to drag something over to one or the other, it's going to preset that window to that size. Now watch, there we go. And let's do this, uh, maybe it can't. So let's open up another window here and watch this. It easily splits it. I'm gonna open up the Dell display again. <laughs> there it is, oops. And you can do it in any configuration. So let's let's say the four. Here we go. See, it automatically cuts it. I'm not gonna open a bunch of windows because this is my work computer and I don't want you to see things that you're not supposed to see, but I do wanna show you just how simple it is to move things and have it just fit right in the box. All right, and really the options are endless. Uh, seven windows is a little excessive, but if you're trying to compare some documents or anything like that, I think it's really, really neat. I'm going to stick to my two window, and anytime you want to remove this, it's very simple by just clicking the X to empty the layout. You can have some easy memory. You can have certain profiles set up, which is very, very interesting. Launch during PC startup, launch by a certain time. If there's an app or a document open, it will have this specific setting. I, I just think that is incredible. So really play around with this. There are a couple other settings that you might want to look into. Hotkeys, um, other things like this, color reset. I'm not gonna jump into color. I'm not a monitor color specialist. I just really wanted to show you high level, the easy arrange feature of the D Dell Display Manager. If you are not using this, go download it now. Let me know if you're having any issues. I'm happy to give you some guidance. And this that's the end of the video. So if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next Monday. Take care.